Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are at the 2023 PRI Show. And again, I'm joined by Jeremy Wagler of Wagler Competition Products. And right here is a Billet 67 Cummins engine, and it's our Diesel of the Week. Engine Builders Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. All right, Jeremy. Well, again, yep. uh, we just uh, showcased that new billet Duramax, and yep. we got another billet build here, uh, this time with a 6.7 Cummins that you guys call the CX. Yep, we just call it the CX, Wagler CX uh, billet engine. Uh, basically, it's a, a replica of a Cummins engine, but just built completely different. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We tried to we tried to make sure for all the rules we have to keep the same crank center line, the cam center line, and the bore spacing all the same as factory. But everything else has changed. So, okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So let's talk about some of those differences then. You know, what, what, uh, are, what are the things that you guys decided to upgrade and alter just for better performance? Uh, so starting from the top, the cylinder head, you can put the cylinder head right onto a Cummins engine. It's a billet a billet aluminum. Uh, still takes the factory style rocker arms the push rods everything on that part's the same yeah. uh, this this one is make them two different heights uh, this and standard height deck uh, but as far as the sleeves they're a, a larger diameter sleeve they interlock into each other you can pull them out yeah. replace them at the track if you'd like to or if you have an issue yeah. um, has a jessel roller jessel roller uh, lifters in it um, manton push rods manton rockers on this one uh, has a comp cams camshaft the uh, again, like the center line from the crank to the cam has to say factory locations to, to meet a lot of the class rules. So, but then we we can run a factory crank crankshaft as well. So mm -hmm. you can run a factory crank, or a lot of them are running like a Winberg uh, billet crankshaft. So, okay. so then we run our customer choice. Yep, customer yep. choice. Uh, the connecting rods would make both uh, one inch over or standard length, and then Ross pistons, trend pins, uh, everything will fit a factory block. Yeah. But this one's just built completely different with the mono has a mono block so basically the okay. sleeves fit in a, a section the center section houses the upper bore of the crankshaft the camshaft yeah. and then it has a bed plate instead of individual main caps that can walk around yeah under a lot of load we pick a uh, make a bed plate that locks in and make it out of a, a special aluminum yeah. so okay very cool very so, lightweight very lightweight yeah yeah. So, Jeremy, how long does it take to machine, you know, build a block? Like Average this? on one of these about a hundred hours from top wow. to bottom. So wow. a lot of a lot of hours and a lot of man time. Yeah. So, so you're yeah. just letting the machine go all week. Yeah. 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 Plus. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So you just covered a lot of stuff that's inside. Uh, you know, how about some of the other stuff out here on front? Uh, made made it to where you can run three pumps if you if you need to. But yeah. most of the guys are running in drag racing. Uh, it's like two 14 millimeter pumps up front. Yep has a drive gear back we run a peterson oil pump uh, off the back side of it so okay. everything's ran gear drive so no belts yep. no belts or anything yep. uh, one thing we've changed we was having uh, a couple fab shops alum making aluminum oil pans but they're so long when they tig weld them up a lot of warpage and stuff was yeah. going on with the yeah. pans, so we came out with a billet pan put the okay. scabbage scabbage lines in the bottom nice. uh, but as you'll see these cylinder heads and these intakes out in the show and almost every Cummins powered drag yeah. drag vehicle, so uh, it's a it's a combination that's been working and uh, it's it's definitely making power and holding together. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you get, also got a fluid damper. Yep, uh, got, damper a, up got front. a fluid damper on the front. Normally, it's like a Sun Coaster ATS flywheel. There's several different companies making those now for us. So yeah, but yeah, everything balances out really well. It's smooth. Uh, you think you're when you start them up, you think it's starting a factory factory engine. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. All right, now obviously you got uh, a turbo here. Do you happen to know specs on this particular turbo? Uh, Garrett, uh, this is a like a Garrett based, but stainless yeah. diesel, builds their own center section, yeah. wheels and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Johnny's car's running that same charger and it's making over 3,000 horse going down the track. So yeah. he's running a 4.0 and an eighth mile right now. So 4.08, I think is what yeah. his Yeah, he's, his starting, fastest. he's starting to fly. He's, yes, yep. absolutely. Um, but obviously, guys have turbo options here, oh, yeah. depending on yep. what they're doing, um, as, as well as fueling options. Yep. And and is this something you mentioned? Drag racing. Uh, 
this is something that people would use in a polling situation too? We we are building three more right now, and okay. uh, two of them are going to drag racers. One of them is going to a pulling vehicle. So this okay. this engine's never really been put into the pulling application. So this will be the first one this spring. Okay. So, yeah, it's going in a three six and then an open charge open charge uh, class. So, yeah. but yeah, they'll they'll perform they'll perform just as well in pulling as what they do drag racing. Yeah, very good. Uh, now again. As with anything, fueling and air is going to dictate a lot of yep. stuff, as well as exactly what the customer is doing with it. Oh yeah. Um, you mentioned three thousand horsepower with Johnny's build. Yeah. Is that more or less where this is going to sit? That's that's uh, what these are all based for. Okay. Most of the time in drag racing, they cannot get a vehicle to hook up uh, yeah. more than yeah, three thousand. Yeah, right. beyond three thousand horsepower. In the pulling world, they're up closer to the four thousand range. So. Sure. Sure. But yeah, the uh, the three thousand marks about where all the drag cars are going down the track. Yeah, very cool. Jeremy, anything else about this bill at Cummins that we're leaving out? Uh, not really. Just mainly, I uh, want to thank all the companies that help us out. Uh, yeah. We got you know like a Ross pistons, trend wrist pins. We do yeah. our Wagler rods. All the uh, SNS does the fuel systems. Stainless is doing a lot of the uh, turbos. So. Yeah, the the guys that help us every time every time we make a call, we right. build we build them up to whatever we can whatever we can get them to the customer to. So. Yeah, excellent. Well, Jeremy, again, hey. appreciate the time. Thank you. Awesome bill at Cummins here, guys. We appreciate you watching this episode of Diesel of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Jeremy's got going on at Wagger Competition Products. And as always, please check out EngineBuilderMag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.